Man, this hat is clean. I think I'm finna cop this. Oh, snap. I think they still got some. Let me get on my computer real quick. Yeah, let me put this on my Instagram real quick. Yo, video coming soon. Just cop. Wait on it. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, JV. I'm coming back again with yet another hat review and in today's video i have two hats i usually only have one but i've been holding on to one for like a couple weeks now i've been trying to get back into the swing of things that way i can consistently upload on my channel feel free to follow me on instagram J A A V I O N no underscore straight through follow me on snapchat doe underscore boy junior i post similar content on there if you guys have any questions about how I edit my videos, what I use to edit my videos, or where did I get the particular item I'm reviewing on that particular video, feel free to slide up. I'll be sure to steer you in the right direction. Now, if you guys aren't hip, I follow several hat Instagram pages and I turn my post notifications on. I told you about this in a couple of videos back. It helps a lot when you're trying to secure your favorite hats or new, new hats that you might like the look of. But anyways, I'm subscribed to Lids Hat Club a store called fam cap store based in germany i haven't bought anything from there yet but i'll be sure to do it soon but i say that to say that the first hat i'm going to show you i got this from lids they posted on instagram i'll be sure to put like a little snapshot of what they posted it was just a picture of some hats and they were like uh it was just a, basically a picture of some hats like upcoming hat release right the comment section was like hey they're not on your website where are they and then hats replied to several in people's Instagram pages and they said that they'll be in their local stores. Try your local mall. So that's exactly what I did. I got off work, ran some errands, and I immediately went to the mall and picked up the first hat that I'm about to show you guys today. But first, let me show you guys the fitted that I have on today. I have on a Mitchell and Ness uh, fitted in the Chicago Bulls. I call this the bacon because it's very similar to the Air Max bacons that came out a couple years ago. It's just that brown and that pink and little splashes of red here and there. I really love this hat. I've only actually worn this hat one time. This will be my second time wearing this hat just for this video, to be honest. As soon as I'm done with the video, it's gonna go back over there on my shelf with all my hats, just being honest. Now, let me show you the reason why you clicked on this video right here. So this is the orange Tropicana, orange juice, sun kiss, or whatever you wanna call it all orange fitted cap this hat is dope i don't have anything to wear with it at the moment but i needed some bright and you know orange looks good against the brown skin i'm pretty sure you, all you guys can relate my brown skin people out there let's get on anybody you know wear what you like if it looks good if you feel like it looks good on you go ahead and cop it you feel me so let me show you guys a little close-up of the hat so right here we get in the front we got that we got that Atlanta Braves white embroidery, pretty standard, nothing really special about that. But what got me was the side patch on the hat. I found that it had really good detail. I remember a couple videos ago, the hat club uh, hat that I had bought, the patch was done horribly. I couldn't even read the numbers on it. Like it literally was just done horribly. And that was a very bad experience from hat club. I know there's dozens and hundreds of reviews on hat club of hats that people really love but mine i just got a bad one pretty much i just i just i got a bad batch the battered man on the black is flat and it has that orange and yellow hit surrounded by a white square pretty dope pretty dope white new era logo orange button up top now this is my favorite part, the yellow under visor. Now this is dope right here. I might just pair this with some white Air Force Ones and just keep it pushing. I'm probably not gonna try to matchy matchy, do too much with this one. You know, this is just a simple, I'll just let the hat style itself whenever I do plan on wearing this hat. White under visor, I honestly don't feel like any other color would have done it justice. Maybe a yellow one, maybe an orange one would have looked good, but New Era hardly ever co uh, color coordinates like crazy colors from the under visor with the actual sweatband this hat totaled to be 44 dollars. i think it was like 52 dollars after tax as you guys can see size seven and three fourths that is my size this is not for sale and yeah moving on to the next one actually let me go ahead and try this thing on real quick perfect fit i will be curving this offline i should make a video on how i curve my hats personally uh i know there's dozens of videos on youtube on how to curve hats but personally i like to do it a little different a lot of people like to do it with the steam 
and all that but when you put the steam on the hats it takes the stickers off and me personally i like rocking the stickers on my hats that's just me personally hey to each their own right i just love the hat stickers like if one of my hats does undergo some circumstances where the hat sticker actually falls off i'll be sure to go on ebay and find some fitted hat stickers and i'll slap it right back on there because i just love the stickers i feel like it just adds character to the hat and i don't know just my personal preference but i'm not knocking anybody who does moving into the main event the real reason why i brought you guys this video because this hat is kind of bizarre i follow new era on instagram and i was just scrolling through the um scrolling through the comments of this hat that they posted and people were just weren't feeling them and the only reason why they weren't feeling them was because of the sweatband however i thought that was dope because a couple minutes ago i was talking about how new era really never has crazy sweatbands it's always black or white that's pretty much it that's all they really have i have one hat with a blue sweatband and it's very rare i haven't come across any other ones like that so let me bring you guys the philadelphia phillies now this is dope right here i really got this because of the whole craze about pushing p and all that so i really thought this was dope the color palette it just coordinates seamlessly how it fades from that orange that brown and that that yellow it's just dope how it just fades like that the i found that this was the best one i scrolled on their website for a cool 15 minutes contemplating on which one i should get i almost got the cincinnati reds one but eh, i was on the fence and this was the one that i came out with it came in about a week so let me show you guys some more close-ups to this hat right here like I said, that Philadelphia Phillies, that front logo is amazing how it fades from that black all the way to that white with those colors. Pretty fall timey, to be honest. I feel like they dropped this a little too late, but I have more information about this hat. Peep the side patch, pretty basic, but I thought that it was dope. It's not doing too much, it's nice and simple. Same color coordination as that front logo. Batterman logo on the back has that orange and that brown hits or is that red my my lights kind of dark has more of that orange and that brick I would say more of like a brick color and a orange and or logo on the side and the best part about this hat to me is the under visor and the sweat band like man look at this this is that banana pudding baby food yellow right here this is amazing I really love this hat I'm probably gonna pair this with a pair of black cat fours or maybe my shattered backboards. We'll see how it color coordinates whenever I do put a fit on. This is a size seven and three fourths, my true size. I'd rather go buy a hat from the store because this seven and three fourths right here, I guarantee you, if it's different than this seven and three fourths. I mean, they're really close, but this one's just a little bit bigger. My true size that I used to always get was seven and five eighths, but I had to stop copping the seven and five eighths simply because that they started the sizes started to range too different. The seven and three fourths is my go-to pretty much. This hat was made in Bangladesh as well as the orange one. And yeah, man, two solid pickups. But this is a good summertime hat, but I feel like this one right here would be good in the fall. And you know, fall just passed about three months ago. So, you know, New Era, they sold out pretty much. So someone's copping them, someone's liking them, despite the comments that I see on their Instagram all of the time. New Era sometimes has some questionable drops. I do not pick up every single New Era drop, but I do like New Era because the hats are way more obtainable than Hat Club. Every time I go to Hat Club, the hat sells out in one minute. But you can go on New Era two, three hours later, and you can cop a dope hat, and it's gonna get to you every single time. So that concludes today's video, you guys. If you guys have any questions, like I said, put them in the comment section, slide up, go DM me on Instagram. I'll steer you in the right direction. This is Jamion. Until then.